Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tango Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 12 september 2016. Dit is het bulletin van maandag. Vandaag is het Mosche en een SSTV plaatje in PD90. Net als de komende dagen is het een foto van de ballonvossenjacht. Vandaag begin ik met een fragment van de transponder van de ballonjacht van gisteren. Dan volgt in het Engels het propagatienieuws van de RSGB. Echo 1X, Bravo. Kom ik over de trillet. 
Now the DX News, compiled from 425DX News and other sources. Listen for Marcel, Papa Delta 5, Mike Victor Hotel, working as Papa Delta 5, Mike Victor Hotel stroke portable from Amaland Island, IOTA reference Echo Uniform 038. This is until the 17th of September. He will use the 40, 20 and 10 metre bands using CW, SSB and JT65. Send QSR cards to his home call sign, direct or via the Bureau. Yuli Delta Lima 2 Alpha Hotel is active from Pitcairn Island, Ocean Charlie 044, using the call sign Victor Papa 6 Alpha Hotel until the 25th of November. He's operating holiday style on SSB and digital, and you can send QSL cards to his home call. Ken Kilo Hotel 6 Quebec Juliet is operating from East Kiribati using the call sign Tango 32 Alpha Zulu. That's until the 15th of September. You can listen for him on 80, 40, 20, 15 and 10 using SSB. Send the QSL cards to his home call. Ralph Delta Kilo 8 Foxtrot Alpha is operating as Delta 44 Tango Uniform Juliet. That's from Boa Vista Island. Alpha Foxtrot 086 is the IOTA number. That's between the 15th and the 29th of September. Now he will be mostly heard on 20 metres using digital modes. Send QSL cards to his home call sign direct or via the Bureau. Ralph does not accept EQSL or Logbook of the World. Bob Victor Kilo 2 Bravo Oscar Bravo will be on the air as 5 Whiskey 0 Bravo Oscar Bravo from Upolo Island Oscar Charlie 097 until the 17th of September Activity is going to be holiday style on 40 and 20 metres using SSB QSLs direct to the home core Jim Kilowatt Bravo 1 Zulu Sierra Quebec is on the air as 9 X-Ray 0 Juliet Whiskey that's from Kigali until December 2017. Activity is going to be in his spare time on 80 to 10 metres using SSB and various digital modes. QSL for that via the operator's instructions. Finally Joshua Victor Alpha 7 Yankee Mike is on air as Alpha 31 Yankee Mike from Iua Island Ocean Charlie 049 that's from the 13th to the 21st of September. Activity for that one is on the HF bands QSL direct to Echo Alpha 5 Golf Lima. De SSTV foto van vandaag deed me toen ik hem voor het eerst zag aan een stripverhaal denken. De hoofdpersonen zijn een paar van de mensen achter de ballonjacht zelf. En het leuke van de foto is dat hij zo goed laat zien hoe goed de stemming er tijdens de geslaagde dag van gisteren wel niet in zat. Als je de roepnamen van de mensen op de foto wilt weten moet je kijken op www.ballonvossenjacht.nl
Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren via PI2 NOS. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf s ochtends herhaald. 25 jaar ago, Linus Torvalds was just a 21-year-old computer study student in Finland when he developed something truly revolutionary: his own computer operating system. Now, most of us are familiar with Windows and Macintosh computer operating systems. They were developed by teams of software engineers, and once they're released to the public, they're locked down. You can't change the coding of the system to suit your own individual needs. Today, Windows or Mac OSs are on the overwhelming majority of personal computers. But Torvalds OS, which came to be called Linux, worked the opposite way. A system initially developed by one person released publicly to a community for free. That community was urged to modify and improve it for their own needs. So you see, the truly revolutionary PC users are using Linux, whose logo is a penguin wearing a tuxedo. And the fact that Linux and the coding behind it is publicly available, that is, open source, means that it's by far the most used operating system in the world. Yeah, yeah, I know I said Mac and Windows are on the vast majority of personal computers. But when it comes to the machines that tackle the big jobs in computing, like in science, engineering, artificial intelligence, and large industrial applications, Linux reigns supreme. But don't fret if you're not among the coolest of the cool, those who boot up Linux on their well-worn laptops. Most of us use Linux every day and don't even realize it. And that's for two reasons, because it's free and almost infinitely customizable. Banks, postal services, cities, and even some national governments use Linux operating systems to run their servers and applications. NASA uses Linux. CERN, which is trying to figure out how the universe began, even uses Linux. Then there are the really big players. Amazon, the New York Stock Exchange, the U.S. Department of Defense, the Burlington Coat Factory. Okay, maybe they're not such a big player, but they do use Linux. Remember Watson, the IBM supercomputer that cleaned up on Jeopardy? He runs Linux, along with 97% of the world's other supercomputers. And lastly, there's this little computer company called Google. What powers the largest repository of information in the world? Linux, and that includes all Android phones, too. So the next time you see someone typing on a laptop covered with stickers of penguins, don't just write him off as some geek. He may just be working on how to get humans to Mars or helping your next flight arrive on time. Happy anniversary, Linux. We salute you.